All right, hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. A uh, little late update, 10.30 p.m. my time here on the West Coast. Uh, taking a look at um, Hurricane Dorian and um, having an issue there at the uh, Bahamas live stream webcam there. It keeps getting a little buffer, so not for sure what's going on. If that continues, then I'll switch over to a different view. Uh, current 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time update of Hurricane Dorian. Uh, shows maximum sustained winds of 150 miles per hour with gusts up to 184. So still sitting at a category four, strong category four strength hurricane uh, moving west slowly at about seven miles per hour. Uh, no change in direction at the moment. Looking at a couple different satellites. Uh, I'm looking at uh, the potential uh, for some upper level winds to develop around the Gulf region which would push the hurricane northward um, pretty sharply actually but uh, we're going to take a look at a couple different weather models here kind of like we've been doing over the past couple nights here to get a uh, general idea of what these or what the uh, um, computer models are trying to suggest let's go over here real quick um, not for sure what happened here to that one Okay, so we'll take a look first, real quick, at the ECMWF, which is the European weather model here, forecasting uh, weather tool that uh, many meteorologists tend to use uh, when it comes to uh, predicting, well, anything, storms, thunderstorms, general weather. Uh, in this case, we're looking at uh, some wind speed out there at a certain level, and uh, this pretty much gives a general nice general view of the track of the hurricane and the, the winds associated with it and around it. You can see low pressure over there in the Gulf of Mexico, at least on this map. Uh, let's go ahead and put this thing into motion and we can take a look at the uh, general view that the computer models want to uh, forecast here. And you can see all of a sudden it runs into a brick wall. I mean, it's almost like Florida has a uh, shield around it, a protective shield. Uh, pretty amazing that a almost category five strength hurricane would be uh, stopped in its tracks and then head due northward. But that's what, <laughs> that's what this weather model is showing. And it's gonna, like I said last night, it's gonna be really interesting to see uh, what the outcome is after it's all said and done. Um, now the GFS version here, let me see if I can bring that up here. I'm having some issues with uh, the maps again on my side. Let me bring in, uh, let me do something here on my side real quick. Um, and then we'll take a look at that GFS version and see uh, the difference in the two. kind of strange. Not for sure why that's doing that, but that's okay. We can do this here real quick. Uh, let's get rid of the uh, European model and we'll go with the GFS version here real quick. Okay, here we go. Yeah, for some reason my other one wasn't popping up, uh, but that's okay. We got it going and uh, we will take a look at the path uh, that the GFS model here is predicting. Right now, still, like I said, strong category four, about ready to hit the Bahamas, and it looks like it does make a definite landfall on the North Bahama Island out there, right around where that webcam is. So, uh, could be a good possibility something's going on with that, the buffering um, issue. So, the GFS version still wants to take it well to the north before it hits Florida. You can see, uh, you can see it kind of stalling out a little bit there, just as it hits the. Uh, North Bahama Islands there. Uh, looks like parts of Florida may be in the outer bands of some strong wind, uh, but as of right now, this GFS version showing a landfall well north into the North Carolina region there uh, next week with the eye wall. Um, of course, once again, this is subject to change as uh, conditions, you know, happen out of the blue out there. 
but right now all the weather models showing uh, no landfall at least in Florida from this hurricane um, like I say it's gonna get a little rain some storm surge uh, but this is way different than what we've seen a couple days ago where we've seen a definite um, landfall of the eye right in, her, in the uh, state of Florida um, it's gonna be interesting to watch folks but I'm just I just wanted to point out a couple different weather models and show you guys uh, the possibilities here and uh, we'll just have to play it by ear play it by sight uh, day by day like right now it's the latest satellite image down there uh, shows it just about to approach the northern uh, island there in, in the Bahamas region right around where I have this webcam set up there uh, or where where the webcam is set up the viewing that I'm that uh, it's being seen here is from the old Bahama Bay Marina. Um, like I said, a buffering issue like this would be um, a sign that there's no data coming in, no live signal coming in from whoever's streaming this webcam. Um, so YouTube just has it as a buffer. But um, I will check on that and I will switch it up if I need to. Uh, I may switch it back over uh, to a Florida webcam video we'll see see what happens here but in the meantime folks um, that's it for now uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of sleep got to get up a little early uh, and we'll take a look at the uh, the weather forecast tomorrow I mean it's uh, like I say things could change it's a powerful hurricane but if you got an invisible shield I guess it doesn't matter right anyway have a good night everyone um, you know it's good news for the state of Florida that uh, that it's a good possibility they could be in a clear. Uh, the outer bands are a little bit better than the inner bands when it comes to uh, having to deal with a hurricane. So we'll see what happens. Um, in the meantime, folks, have a good night. Uh, stay safe out there this holiday weekend. I am headed to bed and uh, peace out. Enjoy.